This is the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. Ever wish you could re-listen to your favorite interview or segment? Do you enjoy hearing older shows for the first time in years? Then the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less is just what you need. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. That's right, John Solberg here, your host for the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. Super excited that you're here, and I'm equally excited that today's episode is being brought to you by The Butcher Shop, purveyors of highly sought after 100% Australian non crossbred Wavara 9 Plus biscuits. And as always, they are handpicked just for you. I'm going to ask you have you tried a Wavara non crossbred 9 Plus brisket yet? Isn't it time that you treated yourself? Things are kind of getting back to normal. We're kind of getting out of the weeds. Summer is upon us toward the backside. It's time. You need to get a hold of the butcher shop. Get yourself one of these briskets. At the very least, get yourself some Compart Duroc. Get yourself some Allegiance Duroc pork. Have you tried Berkshire ever? It's life-changing. Get yourself some Berkshire. How do you do that? Give the butcher shop a call today. 850-458-8782. 850-458-8782. You know by now that if you mention the Barbecue Central Show, they're going to save 10% off your entire order each and every time. Reach out to them. Also take a look on their Facebook page, facebook.com slash the butcher shop. Shop is spelled S-H-O-P-P-E. Remember, the butcher shop. Always handpicked, 100% Australian non-crossbred Wylara 9 Plus briskets. Go give them a try. Let me know what you think. I already know you're going to thank me. Guarantee you're going to thank me. That said, here's what's going on in today's show. We're going to take a jump back to July of 2014. Greg's going to talk a little rub action, and I'm going to let him make the introduction. Uh, joining me now, you can find him on the competition circuit. You can find him having large success in the rub category. Um, catering, too, from uh, what I was doing research-wise on the interwebs. Let's go ahead and race over the hot mic. And welcome first timer of the show, Pitmaster of Simply Marvelous Barbecue, Steph Franklin joining us. Steph, how are you, buddy? I'm good, Greg. How are you? Doing absolutely fabulous stuff. Appreciate you making time for the show. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, first before we... Get down simply marvelous style, um, like I do with all the first time guests. Maybe a little background about yourself uh, and kind of how you got into the whole barbecue game. Sure. I, um, in terms of co- competing, I uh, started competing on a dare from uh, Neil Strada, Big Mister. Um, I was going through a tough part of my life, uh, divorce, et cetera, and then they uh, had me come down to a barbecue competition and. Uh, yeah, you know, I went down there and did the, the visitor thing, drinking and everything, and partying with the guys. And, uh, and then there was another competition about two weeks later, and I, t- I told the fellas I'd be down there. And um, so Neil says, you competing or drinking? And so I said, <laughs> I'm competing. And I went out there. So my first competition was the IBCA, and I got a first in pork, and I was hooked after that. Um, at the same time, I was uh, also just started a catering business about a year before that and I had started developing my own rug um, and so I <clears throat> in 2008 I, I pretty much bottled them and um, started bottling the first two which was sweet and spicy and seasonal and uh, and it just blossomed from there you know I just kind of got these whims in my test kitchen uh, which is <laughs> you know my home kitchen and uh Came up with the cherry rub, the pecan rub, and, and so forth. And uh, the spicy apple came about for, for uh, my fishing friends who asked me to um, develop that rub as well. So, um, so I just the rub thing just came natural to me, you know. And uh, the competing just did my uh, competitive side uh, in terms of barbecue competitions. Steph, when you went down to compete that first time, uh, you know, IBCA, so when you were with Neil that first time, was that uh, like a KCBS-style contest, or was that also uh, IBCA? It was IBCA. And obviously you've yeah. you've seen, you know, a bunch of the different sanctioning bodies at this point. I mean, you've been in it, you know, uh, what, seven, eight years now, or going on seven years. Um, what What do you like about... 
IBCA. What do you like about KCBS? I mean, it sounds like you're, you know, somebody likes to spread it around a little bit. You know, what do you find endearing about those different sanctioning bodies? Well, I think for me, and this is strictly for me, the IBCA was a good um, launching pad to get involved in uh, competition cooking. It was, uh, you know, a little less um, uh, strenuous than the KCBS contest. Uh, the turn is where every hour, versus every half an hour, they cook half chickens versus whole chickens and shredded pork versus, you know, the medallions, the, you know, of the money muscle, et cetera. So that was a good um, beginning point for me. Um, but now I pretty much do uh, KCBS. Um, our turn-ins would, would board me at this point because um, I'm still programmed to that half an hour window. Um, so I really enjoy the KCBS aspect uh, of cooking. How many other people are on Simply Marvelous, uh, Simply Marvelous team? Is it just you, or do you have a, a team, quote-unquote, that you, uh, likes to travel with you? Well, usually it's just me. Um, I, I got a buddy from college who, who shows up at contests, uh, a guy named Gil. Um, everybody calls him my good luck charm. I seem to do well when he ever, whenever he comes and runs my, my boxes. <laughs> my girlfriend, uh, Shalana Miller, and then my sous chef at the catering business, uh, Jamie Diamond. Um, when they come, I'm just on fire because they, they just have my back. You know, they really make sure my boxes are together. Um, uh, they, they're they the eye. They go, they're not going to BS me. They're going to tell me the truth. If it sucks, it sucks. If it's great, they're going to let me know. Do you think it would be, given the fact that you're kind of the, you know, the, the, the one-man gang of, of the cooking portion of it, do you think it would be hard at this point, given your experience in competition barbecue, to take on like a full-time teammate that would be traveling around and be responsible for a certain portion of the goings on during a competition? Yes. This is the one thing in my life. I'm pretty much a control freak about. I, I don't think I could handle another cook in the kitchen, so to speak. So I, <laughs> I, I enjoy cooking all four meat, you know, and, um, I, 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 th- I thrive off of that. And, um, at this point in the game, um, I'm a one man team for the most part outside of my, my, my folks that come out and support and cheer me on and help me with my boxes and things of that nature. Uh, Steph Franklin joining me here on the show, Simply Marvelous Barbecue, which can be found at simplymarvelousbbq.com. Obviously, uh, the rubs we'll talk about here in a second can also be found at the newest sponsor of the show, bigpapasmokers.com. In regards to the, to the rubs, I mean, there's been a lot of talk and hoopla around this term west coast offense not only is it a uh, an actual nfl offense that stunk out loud here in cleveland for the last two years in reverse of that it seems to be doing astonishingly well in the competition barbecue uh, arenas of competition how does that whole thing come together i mean obviously there, there was some type of a, a partnership deal or uh, a uh, an agreement or relationship with Sterling Ball on Big Papa Smoker's side. Uh, how does the West Coast offense come to be? And, and quite frankly, what is the West Coast offense? Well, to me, it's different things to different people. But to me, it's something sweet and something savory. Sterling excels in the savory spices. I tend to excel more in the, in the sweet spices um, outside of the pepper cow and the seasonal. And, um, you know, Sterling... We started just using each other's rubs, and uh, uh, you know he he really got that thing rolling when he when he GC'd the Royal. Um, he he was using the pecan, uh, one of my rubs, and uh, he he GC'd with that, and it really just started the West Coast offense when he got that uh, Grand Championship at the American Royal and um, a couple of years ago. So that that was the beginning of it all, and then. You know, the guys out here, Matt Dalton, you know, Sylvie Curry, and a few others, they started running the West Coast offense. And we just jokingly started calling it the West Coast offense because um, California has not been a hotbed uh, of barbecue for most people. But I think uh, they're starting to find out that California folks can grow down. You know, since you've been doing it, uh, you know, for a good handful of years now, when you first started, you know, especially on the KCBS side of things, I mean, IBCA has been, uh, you know, dominant around the, the the southern region of the country here, uh, obviously for a number of years. But on the KCBS side, I mean, how have you seen that grow over the last, well, I mean, you could probably see it grow exponentially or even over the last two, three years. But, you know, five, six years ago, what was the competition terrain like versus what you see today? Head on over to the BBQCentralShow.com, find out what Steph had to say 
It's always interesting. I encourage you to go click on over there, listen to the rest of this show, poke around, find something good for me to cut up a show about, spend some time on the Barbecue Central Show search. You have a, got a question? Type it in that search box. Want to hear somebody or something? Chances are it's been on the show. I'm talking like that show's got all that in a bag of chips. I mean, it's a whole damn party mix. Thanks so much for listening, and until next time on the Best Moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 Minutes or Less, I'm your host, John Solberg. I look forward to talking to you again soon.